Hello, my name is Jimmy, and today we are joined with the 2021 Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG my Kleck Ling, Upper Baby Cruise V2, and in the back seat, I already have my Kleck Foomph. So today, we're gonna see exactly how they all fit inside this car. So let's take a look. All right, the back of the Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG. As you can see, I have the Foomph installed behind the passenger side, and I have the Ling installed behind the driver's side, or at least the base for now. Both are installed using the lower anchors that's available on this vehicle. There's a set on the driver's side and there's a set on the passenger side here. And there's also three sets of upper anchors, so you're still able to use forward-facing seats as well. But let me show you exactly how well the Ling fits in as well. As you can see, getting the Ling in isn't too much of a trouble. The roof line is high enough and the base itself is low enough where you can easily slide that seat in. So super easy actually to get that child seat in. One thing I did have to note, the driver's seat is moved forward. The passenger, it's all the way forward. So it's not super comfortable for someone of my height at 5'11". However, if you're someone shorter, like my wife here at 5'2", well, it's not too bad. That being said, this Mercedes is probably best suited for a single child family rather than, well, a setup that we have here. All right, the hatch of the A35. Manually operated gate, but that's completely fine. It's a small hatchback. In terms of space, it's a decent amount to put the stroller in. As you can see, it fits just nicely off to the side of the hatch here. There is a little bit more room on the right hand side for you to put maybe a small grocery run, but that's about it. Definitely not uh, suitable for buggy as well as a Costco size run, for example. In any case, that's about it for the A35. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and we'll catch you next time. Take care.